So let's say that I wanted to apply a one-third dilation to point B. Now the first thing that you need are the coordinates for point B. So for point B, you're going to need the coordinates, the X and the Y. So remember that for the X coordinate, what you do is you always start at the origin and then you have to go to the side. So let's see how much you have to go. So you see, you actually have to move nine spaces to the right. So up here in the parentheses, I'm going to put positive nine. So I have positive nine and the nine is positive because you went to the right. If you move to the left, it's negative. If you move to the bottom, it's negative. If you move up, it's positive. And so let's do that now. So you see to go from here to there, you have to go up six spaces. So for the Y coordinate, we're gonna put six. And again, the six was positive because you went up toward the sky. So now we know that point B has the coordinates nine comma six. So what you have to do is take the one third and multiply the coordinates here by one third. So if you take nine and six and you multiply them by one third, one third, these are the numbers that you get, three and two. So three and two are the brand new X and Y. So I wrote it down up here. So the original was B and this one is B prime. Like Optimus prime, the word is prime. So it's B prime and these are the coordinates three and two that we got from down here. So now let's plot the point three, two on the original picture. So three, two is gonna be here because you go three to the right and then two up. And it's not a coincidence that the new point is on the original line. That should happen sometimes. And then I called it B prime because that's what it should be called. And I sort of traced the first part pink just to make it clear to the teacher that that's the new point right there.